Yeah, hi everybody. This is Nico Haupt, aka Ewing 2001, and this is Father Down the Rabbit Hole or Rabbit Hole Central. Still standing in for Paul the Gloria. She's still on vacation, and now I'm moving from California to another uh, state where she's uh, expanding and creating new ideas for the show. So maybe there's another chance uh, at the end of the week that we get in touch with her. Today she's on the road. Today we have a huge uh, uh, package of program points as we screwed up yesterday. Because of Columbus Day, we couldn't reach the numbers all related to top of four exercise. One of the biggest uh, wargame terror exercise crossover we will face next week. So uh, today we hopefully uh, also added another number and see uh, what we can get out of uh, information for uh, this exercise. In the background, by the way, a brand new floor meshy premiere from Genghis 619. Please check it out, youtube.com slash Six, again, 6199, excellent new floor machine. And uh, to uh, make sure that I'm always uh, serious about uh, the New York Post, uh, because if it's not a New York Post, it's not news, I'm holding it again into the camera and see, Joe Torres is more news than everyone else, also not top of over there. Six days in a row, by the way, now New York Post has no political news. but. You always find uh, in the opinion section how the uh, public is prepared on some significant uh, things. And now we have here building for the real future. Now this comes in time because it is about the approval of Lieutenant General James Mattis. And who is General James Mattis? He is actually the new commander of US Joint Forces Command. USJFCOM, the very same command who is in charge of this wargame top of exercise. He's by the way also played by Harrison Ford in the upcoming uh, film No True Glory, The Battle for Fallujah, based on the book by Bing West. And uh, I pull up some facts on Jim, James Madison, hopefully bring that later. Now also a little bit history about top of. When did top of actually start? Well. This, the history of top of started already before 9-11. Now that's interesting, most people, uh, activists don't know this, but the first top of was before 9-11. It was in uh, May 2000, called top of 1. And guess who was participant? James Woolsey. Now who is James Woolsey? James Woolsey is former CIA, was one of the significant guests on the morning of 9-11. Analyzing already the terror exercise and he is also one of the core members of uh, PNAC. Now you see the close connection between the think tanks building up uh, the so-called uh, new threat from Islam, but they're also prepared actually over their lobbyists and think tanks, uh, the military, and they connected the uh, US Congress member in the intelligence committee on the pending threat, and they used already the same words like the New York Post describing today, building for the real future. They described also the future combat system as the most significant project since the Manhattan Project. Now we have the confirmation that future uh, combat system integrates directed energy weapons since 2000. And we will hopefully get a confirmation if JFCOM together with the US Space Command will use future combat system also for next week's top off. And uh, May 2000, uh, James Woolsey had also other participants in it. Sam Nunn, he played the president of this terror scenario. Frank Keating, John White, Jerome Hauer, who was later in charge of the security, uh, John O'Neill, who took over in the Twin Towers and then mysteriously died. Well, this was just top of one and now we hopefully get information about top of so I'm trying it again. Uh, this time the uh, JFCOM, I have another number. Uh, I always forgot the one, sorry. I hope it's turning out in comedy like yesterday, but obviously I have some problems. Uh, okay. So see if we have luck this day. So 
so and uh, I will read a little bit more about the, uh, the new commander. Hello? Yes, this is John Oh yeah, this is uh, Rabbit Hole Central. It's a TV show in uh, New York, partly all streamed on YouTube. We would like to get some information about the force coming top of Fort Drill. Hello? Sorry, I can't hear you very well. You'll have to... Okay. We would, we would like to get some information about the forthcoming top of Fort Drill. And uh, the question is, as in one of the other exercises that JFCOM organized, will they use again future comet system and directed energy systems as experimentation? Hello? I cannot hear you unless you turn off the noise in the background. Okay, maybe, maybe speak of, uh, maybe this doesn't work. So the question is, uh, JFCOM was also in charge of other war games like um, uh, uh, Noble, uh, Noble Resolve and Urban Resolve, and they said on their website they are uh, using future combat system. That is, I think, this advanced uh, military uh, uh, system, and they, uh, they they said uh, they use direct energy weapons as experimentation. So my question is. Uh, if they use it again, uh, is there a kind of public information for the public? I have to contact them. Who should I contact? Public Affairs Office. Well, I thought this is Public Affairs. No, this, this is just common. Well, what's the number of the Public Affairs then, please? Okay, thanks so much. Uh, so a little bit... He's not loud enough on the, on the speakers. Okay, uh, so information about James Mattis while he's pulling up the uh, public affairs number. Obviously, I have the wrong one. Um, well, he was in National War College. I'm looking for significant stuff. He was also involved in another war game, I think. I okay, the number for okay. affairs is 3-6. Uh, one second, it's 757, or? 757 is the area code, yes. Excuse me? 757 is the area code. Yeah, okay, and then, and then? 836. 836? 8, 8. 56? 836. Eight. Yeah. 6558. Okay, thanks so much. Welcome. Happy Columbus. Which was yesterday. Okay, new number, new luck. Right, let's see. comedy here at Rabbit Hole Central. Can't get the military. Alright, come on eh. Uh, this is unbelievable. Why is it not going on? Yes. Okay. Uh, three, six, six. Also number for the Portland activist, 757-8366. Yeah, hi, this is a public affairs from JFCOM. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is Rabbit Hole Central. It's a local uh, TV show, sometimes on YouTube. I would like to get information uh, on the forthcoming top of four drill, if this is public record. Uh, according to uh, Urban Resolve, they used uh, also future comet system. Uh, which integrates directed energy weapons. Is this also part of the exercise for uh, next week? Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm having a very difficult time understanding you. Can you, can you slow down and say that again, please? Uh, okay, um, I'm asking regarding next week's top of four uh, war game exercise. Top of four, yeah. And JFCOM uh, was also in charge uh, in, in Urban Resolve, uh, as they say on their website. And they said that uh, at that time they used future combat system which integrates directed energy weapons. Is this uh, time also uh, integrated in the war game exercise? Is there some public record which confirms that? Sir, I'm, uh, I'm not aware of, uh, of GIFCOM's involvement in the top-off exercise. We, were, we had something to do with Urban Resolve, but top-off, um, I need to find, do a little more research on that and try and get you a better answer. If I can get your name and number, I can call you back. But uh, top up, I believe, is uh, I'm not sure of any role that Joint Forces Command has in that. Well, they said in on, their, on their own website in February that they would participate and organize it. Well, I, I can take a look at it. Uh, again, sir, that may be true. That there are several things that happen here within the command, and I don't yeah. have any... Also, uh, it might sense because this week uh, uh, 
There's a new commander, uh, as also New York Post report, James Mattis is now confirmed. So it makes many sense that it was synchronized in time that he's in charge. Yeah, General Mattis is not in command right now. General Smith is the commander. General yeah, but, Lance Smith is the commander of the Joint Forces Command. Right, I thought James Mattis, Mattis is, was taking General over. Mattis was nominated and the Senate confirmed his oh, nomination, yeah. but he's not... Right, right, that's uh, correct information. He's just nominated right now. Yeah, he was in charge of other war games. So there is no chance, maybe I can call back. Uh, I mean, you, you can call back, but so you, you want me to look into um, top yeah. off what Joint Forces Command role yes, is top, in top off? Yes, top off four. Uh, and if they use, as they used in Urban Resolve, future combat system, and if so, if they integrate again as experimentation directed energy weapons. Okay, so, so you want to see if I, we uh, for the future combat systems and if, if uh, top off, if we're involved with it. Um, Will we integrate um, directed energy systems? Is that what you're Direct asking? energy systems. I mean, right now it's mainstream confirmed. They're using a lot of stuff like from Boeing at the Airborne Defense Laser or the. Uh, 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 I'll see what I can find out. You're welcome to call back, or I can call you back. We'll yeah, yeah. Uh, as I said, we have your weekly uh, daily TV show, so I might call back uh, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Maybe I can pull it up. Um, uh, there are also some concerned activists for sure in Poland. They also would like to know this, so. Uh, um, I'm glad to uh, help out and, and find out, but it's possible that maybe some activists also uh, call up. They're kind of concerned, you know, it's a lot of nervous uh, vibe right now in Poland. But you understand this kind of stuff, yeah? Well, I know, like, uh, Urban Resolve, um, I, I know of the exercise, I'm not sure where, where, it was, uh, where it was set at. Again, I'd have to do a little research on that. I yeah. know we recently did a, uh, an it, experiment up there called Nova uh, Resolve. Yeah, Nova Resolve was in, uh, in Portland. I think uh, I didn't get a confirmation on Nova Resolve if they use future comment system and direct energy weapons. I'm fairly certain that we did not, but I, I need to confirm that for you. Uh, about you, you know about Urban Resolve? Urban Resolve, I, I've heard of the experiment. I could have swore that it, 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 did, not, uh, it did not occur in the origin. You know, uh, I forget where it occurred. Oh, yeah, do you know what kind of... A, I believe it was an experiment. It yeah, wasn't an do, exercise. So right. Experiment. Yeah, well, they, that's what they said. They said it's an experiment. Right. So uh, do you know also what kind of directed energy weapon system they use? I, I'm, I'm not sure in, uh, any sort of energy... Uh, directed energy system was used. Uh, did, did, are you familiar with the history? This, this are you familiar? Are you welcome to call back tomorrow? We'll see. Right, right. Do. I will do. But I have uh, one more question. Are yeah. you familiar with the history of direct energy weapons? Uh, I think the Missile Defense Agency uh, confirmed also they have worked with them since ten years. I, I'm not sure of the answer, sir. You're asking questions. I've, I've got to do some research. Uh, on yeah, maybe you do also research on Miracle M I R A C L. This was a direct energy. Uh, uh, um, system in 1998. I've never, I've never heard of that one personally. Okay, and if you have just one more question, sorry about bugging your time, you're busy and you want to defend your country, I understand that. Uh, did you work already in 2000 for JFCOM? Say that again? Did you work already in 2000, in the year 2000, when they had top of one? I was not assigned to, to join uh, forces okay, in 2000. Okay, right, thanks so much. Uh, hopefully we'll call back. Yeah, I mean I will call back. And yeah, it would be very interesting to pull up that information. I'll see what I can find for you. Thanks so much and have a nice day. Have a good day. Okay, good. Okay. Well, so well, we have at least a confirmation uh, that they used it before future combat system uh, and experimentation direct energy weapons. So still no confirmation if they really use it in uh, for for next week. But I have another number and that's AMTI. And AMTI is actually one of the authors. One second. Um. So I have to correct the misinformation. James Mattis is uh, not in charge yet from JFCOM. He's just nominated. Yeah, hi, this is uh, Nico with Rabbit Hole Central. It's a local uh, TV show in New York City. Uh, I have a question. Can you hear me clearly? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, my question is, uh, uh, according to the rec public record of SAIC, uh, you are in charge of the, of the uh, uh, authorship of the forthcoming Top of Four exercise. It says AMTI are the, one of the authors or writers and they know uh, about the content. Okay, can you hold on a second, please? Yeah, I need someone from public affairs or PR. 
who can maybe confirm uh, if they also use future comet system again. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, a little bit, uh, speaker for a little bit quiet. So may I pull it up here more, I hope. Oh, I understand it. So, uh, well, so uh, maybe go to the history of other war games pre 9 11. Top of one was in May 2000. We had then a bio terror scenario in July 2000. John Hopkins Institute organized. November 3rd, 2000 was a famous uh, miniature Pentagon uh, exercise. It had a plane crashing into the Pentagon. This was uh, 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 organized by the MDW, Army Mill Department. Then we had songs, songs 2000, November 2000, a plane crashing into the power plant. In November 2000, we had an unknown bioterror symposium. Uh, once again, Jerry Hauer involved as also in top of one. Jerry Hauer, as I said, uh, later hired John O'Neill for Twin Tower security. And uh, tragically, John O'Neill uh, uh, died on the morning of 9-11 after just a few days in charge. Then there was a 2001 January Emergency Medical Service Operation Training. The Cumberland Air Monitoring for Terrorist Incidents was in February 2001, the Cumberland country. And there was a postponed Pentagon attack drill in April 2001. Then uh, most important, the TRICARE Di Lorenzo drill in May 2001. And this is a simulation exercise for the possibility crash of Boeing 7 Five sem into the headquarters. This was in May 2001, so a lot of similar uh, scenarios already simulating 9/11. Uh, yesterday, by the way, also I tried to uh, call Dr. Andreas Tork, who claims he's also linked to uh, uh, U.S. Joint Force Command over some uh, public uh, exhibitions, congresses. That there was a pre-9/11 simulation, pre-9/11 simulation, and how the twin towers would collapse. Hello. Okay, still online. May I help you? Yeah, uh, I'm still waiting for some kind of public affairs who can tell me a little bit more background information on next week's top of four. As uh, there is public record that AMTI was or is still in charge on writing the core script for top of four. Okay, uh, one moment please. Yeah, and okay, good. So uh, then we had in June 2001, the United Airlines 1230 terror drill. United Airlines already involved in a pre 9 11 terror exercise in June 2001. And that uh, had a, was a fictional flight carrying 89 passengers and was crashing at a port and international jet port. So we had Portland involved, United Airlines, planes, and it all happened in June 2001. Then the exercise mall strike in the Westmore County area around Shanksville. So now, Closing in to September 11, in June, uh, tw on June 12th, just a few months before 9-11, uh, a terror exercise in the area of Shanksville. Another Westmore County drill, it's in the same month. Hey, can I help you? Yes, hello. Uh, is this public affairs or something like a PR for AMTI, which can help me out on uh, next week's top of four exercise, as there is a public record that AMTI is in charge or was in charge of the core script for top of uh-huh and it's about next week that you're what is it you want to know well i would like to have some kind of information if they also uh scripted or together with jfcom or the home security if there will be future combat system involved this is this major military system which developed before 9 11 and then they got all the funding uh, and uh, boosted up until now do you have some confirmation about future combat system integrated and maybe also an information or confirmation uh, if this uh, terror exercise or war game crossover has also directed energy weapons in it? Yes, I can barely hear you. There's no okay. music or something. Okay. Uh, my question is, uh, did you hear me now? Yeah, there's some loud music in the background. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I tried to turn it down. Well, uh, the question is... Um, do you know if future Comet system will be part of top of four drill? I'm not sure. I'm not the contact. I was just... Uh, so how, how do we get this information, maybe? Can I have your name and number and have someone call you back? Well, well uh, we might call back because it's a TV show and I'm not 24-7, uh, so... Uh, 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 what is the direct number that we can try to reach you again? Now I can uh, have someone call you back. Yeah, whatever. So just, but... Uh, uh, we might be not available, but... Uh, 
I, I definitely follow up on this and it would be uh, very interesting to figure that out and well and then uh, um, I can call you back or whatever you can call what, whatever you think is interesting so it's about future comet system and then maybe also if there's a public record uh, if, if they integrate direct energy weapons because that was used in another uh, exercise where JFCOM was involved so this is public record so maybe you can figure it out and it uh, would be interesting to uh, get in touch again Okay, what was your name? This is Nico Hauf with uh, Rabbit Hole Central It's a local uh, TV show uh, sometimes on uh, public access I'm sorry, what, what was it's it a, again? It's a Father Down the Rabbit Hole or Rabbit Hole Central It's a TV show so we would like to get information also for concerned uh, New York citizens and Portland citizens. New York citizens? Yeah, I mean, uh, every kind of war game or terror exercise is affecting also uh, the United States completely. So there are some, some citizens would like to have some information and whether uh, direct energy weapons involved as experimentation. As I uh, also, uh, there's, a, there's a confirmation about this in public record from JFCOM who, uh, according to their website, is also linked to top of four. Well, anyway, you, you don't have the information now, so... Uh, so what's your number? I said I could have someone call you back. Yeah, right now I'm busy calling the TV show. I have your number, so I will get in touch with you. What's your name, please? My name's Haley, but I'm not the person you need to talk to, so. Right, okay, Haley, then maybe I call you back and then you give me the direct number where I can figure this out. Yeah, there might be also other TV shows. Uh, or uh, internet radio shows who get in touch with you, so I will forward that contact to them also. Yeah, thanks so much. No, no, do not forward any kind of contact information to oh. any TV show. Yeah, well, okay, right now it is a TV show, but anyway. Or radio show, you said you would forward. No, no, no I mean, just in case. Yeah. It's right, okay, good. Whatever uh, you're saying, just. Uh, not I in case anything, do not forward contact information. Uh, okay, whatever, the, the content information is public available, but well, it's okay, good. So, we might stay in touch, and uh, maybe next uh, next time you have uh, this information available for me. And thanks so much for your help, okay? All right. Uh, she says it's not uh, I should not follow public uh, 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 contact numbers, but I just got the number from public record. Uh, okay, good. So we might have also a guest calling in on that same matter. And so right now, didn't get much new uh, information around. So still one more week and see if we get the information until then. So I'm going a little bit more to the history of pre 9 m terror drills. This I pulled uh, from original research at TMAT Plus. Uh, in June, uh, uh, to Salmo, we had Operation Ember Sky, which was at the Dayton International Airport. This was a realistic full scale mock exercise, including a simulation of a disaster at the airport. Then on June 12th, an unnamed bioterrorism enrichment drill. June 19th, also a bioterror tabletop exercise at Fort Lee. Fort Lee is interesting because officially some of the uh, alleged suspects from 9 11 were residing at Fort Lee. Uh, then we had dark winter, most important, June 2001, already uh, uh, have the scenario of the anthrax attack involved. They call it uh, dark winter and officially their cover was smallpox uh, in opposite of anthrax. Then, just three days now before 9-11, the Erie County Buffalo Niagara Airport drill and 350 participants involved in this exercise that simulated an aircraft landing with a terrorist on board and the threat of an explosive device on a plane. Finally, just one day before 9-11, an anti-terror meeting at Merthyr Johnston Airport, Westmore County, Shanksville area, and this was the same uh, uh, airport where officially Flight 9 c should have passed if this airport wouldn't have been evacuated and they could confirm that they didn't even see it. So uh, officially Jonestown uh, the air traffic control did never see even Flight 9C passing that area. Let's see what is this here now? Rabbit Hole Central? Hello? Hey, Nico. Oh, this is total. I'm tuning down the music and I have some interesting information. Do you hear me? Hey, Nico, it's James Truth from Total 411. Yeah, this is Total 911 and you should check out this website we had yesterday. Good talk. Uh, 
main focus on top of four. So please go to a, a total information analyzer or total 911.info or total 411.info. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty well and people can check out our talk from last night there. And um, I wanted to point out that uh, what, oh, uh, I was going to ask if you had a chance to call AMTI. Yeah, I just called them, and guess what? They were just a little bit cooperative. It's uh, interesting at one point where, they, where I asked them if they could confirm if they might have used the uh, future combat system for the main core script, or they could confirm they used directed engine weapons. Uh, she gave me a new contact, but told me not to forward to any other TV station. Said I'm, uh, I'm already doing a kind of TV show. It's uh, uh, sometimes on uh, public access and, uh, and uh, uh, every day on YouTube. But uh, so I, I don't know, I have the same number still and her name was Haley. Uh, she didn't have the new uh, information, but I also called the JFCOM. Uh -huh. uh, the guy does, didn't work in 2000 when they had top of one, but he could confirm that JFCOM uh, used uh, direct entry and experimentation in uh, uh, urban resolve, but he couldn't confirm uh, if JFCOM is in that uh, level again involved in uh, top of four. So he couldn't confirm if they would use send future comment system or again direct entry weapons. I guess I don't want to bore your audience recapping something they just heard, but that's uh, that's really cool, and I think everybody out there should start calling. Uh, you know, different commands and especially local media. Right, plus this guy was very helpful, very nice. Uh, he uh... Maybe someone could call Space Command and ask them if they're worried that JFCOM will uh, hijack one of their satellites. <laughs> uh, this guy was very, very nice. I told him it might be some concern. Activists might call up also. But also, uh, he will try to figure out the information and I still get in touch with him. So, uh, maybe I get it tomorrow, but I don't want to stretch it too much. Maybe someone else gets it, gets it faster than me. Anyway, the, the new number is 757-836-6558. 7 That's the direct public affair. Yeah, I, the subsidiary of SAIC, he wrote the script for Top of Four, That's, right? Uh, yes, well, this was a joke I gave off was JFCOM, and uh, I uh, asked AMTI uh, okay. uh, about uh, if they know something about the core script of next week's um, top of four and so she was a little bit I mean, uh, nervous or whatever she was kind of cooperative but not really okay well i guess i got confused because you're saying jfcom is also 757 area code oh yeah they're, they're the same area code okay yeah that's very interesting isn't <laughs> it and of course that's southeast virginia the biggest navy base yeah yeah they're right right around the corner amti is 757-431-8597 JFCOM public affair is 757-836-6558. Maybe they're even in the same uh, building. <laughs> Maybe it's a kind of uh, public... Great, Nico. I guess I'll let you go and get back to your show. And if everyone wants to hear me and Nico, we had talked an hour last night about Top Off. Yeah, and also, by the way, today is a nomination, a new nomination for JFCOM. Uh, it's nominated is now James Mattis. And he was already in charge of another huge war game called Millennium, Millennium, Millennium Challenge in 2002. So that's just today in New York Post, by the way. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I'll let you go. Thanks so much for calling in. Great, have a good one, Nico. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, all good ones for, the, for your show. Okay, bye. Okay, Total Nine Lemon, please check it out. Um, his website is... Uh, Total 9 info or total 411.info and in the last few minutes I'm going a little bit to the uh, to uh, the latest uh, updates in the 9 video mashup scene just that we have some fun things also at the end uh, as I said I played a brand new uh, Genghis 619 and uh, floor machine in the background and there's also a new one from uh, Ed Jock but this seems to be killed off topic this is uh, Andrew Johnson uh, he's here on the Edward Howard Hunt confession. Then a kind of slideshow uh, measure from Nylon Mistbuster uh, called Nylon equals inside job. Cat Rape Stalk 99 has Dennis Kuchinik speaking out on 9 11. Uh, seems to be a kind of hacklerism or interview related to the student scholars, but I'm not sure. Uh, 
Then there is uh, Trevor Pickering, not sure what this is about. Remains of Fly 93. Uh, this could be a dark setter according uh, to the thumbnail. Then we have 911 News, always valuable, check it out. YouTube.com slash 911 News and Flight 175 Ghost Plane. And uh, checking it from the updates from yesterday, Aki Owens is back. Aki Owens for a kind of screw loser who tries to debunk uh, uh, most significant uh, mainstream facts from the Nime Truesling movement. Uh, he uh, was focusing also on the thermite. I have no problem with that one for sure. And uh, now he's debunking Bush Brothers, never in charge of WTC security. Right on, I've also no problem with that one because this uh, was a red herring to begin with and one of the most silliest stories of the Nine of Truth movement, uh, Marvin Bush triggering the Bush connection. Anyway, then we have the Snake Crazy Bikers. Uh, seems to be a Norway, Norwegian uh, mashup called Clamster 911 Part 2 Actero. Slime Buster's new one is focusing on United 93. Uh, then a new uh, kind of Hollywoodish yuppie uh, commercial against Bill Mayer from We Are Change LA. That's a new branch in LA. Uh, their new cartoon comedy called Nine Truths of Spank Bill Mayer. Kind of cute. Anyway, well, this is from the news on Nine Video Mashups. And let's check out also a little bit. Uh, Block lines, nine and block lines. It didn't uh, happen much yesterday, uh, Columbus Day, but um, I actually have to type it in here. I didn't pull it up in time. I think there's a new uh, mashup uh, also not from the True Slings up, and it's a kind of controversy because of the soft exploitation. Uh, yeah, you see the politically correct and I'm true smooth when there has some problems with it. Greenback 001 or Greenback attacked for soft exploitation and a mashup it. And this is a new tendency also uh, that the cyberlinks, the faceless cyberlinks, are always talking into the uh, actors or the artists. They're always telling them uh, how to produce this and that, how to write this and that, how to say this and that, how to think this and that. The Orwellianism of uh, the Nine Truthling uh, movement started basically from day one. While uh, authentic and hard valuable research was attacked, the activists took over and rewrote everything. Now they're claiming that they're pro reinvestigate 9 11 truth. Well, I'm telling you what, from now on, also support this mean reinvestigate 9 truth. Uh, reinvestigate 9 11. Oh, I spoiled my own joke. Okay. So it's not about reinvestigate 9 11. No, it's about reinvestigate 9 11 truth. That's right. Reinvestigate 9 truth is investigate the people who are misleading you since six years. Go into the past of Mike Rupert, Kyle Hens, who's trying to shutting down artist websites, uh, unsuccessful by the way, and also Nick Levis, aka Nicholas, aka Jesus Christ, uh, Jack Riddler, and all these other phony uh, pathetic uh, leadership names. As someone who's calling himself Jesus Christ must be also kind of nutcase in my opinion. Uh, or is it blasphemic uh, after all? Anyway, yeah, and so right now we have truth action uh, already described by, as a new Al Qaeda. Well, it makes sense in a kind of dark humor. Uh, so these are all phony leaders and also George Washington from 9blogger.com, Alex Flom who's connected to Los Alamos clients. Uh, these people are misleading you, as also Alex Jones. They're not telling you the complete truth on 9-11. They're blocking the evidence on direct entry weapons as the number one suspect for uh, the uh, disintegration of the Twin Towers. We know that direct entry weapons was used uh, at least 1998. We have confirmation by the Missile Defense Agency. They used them since 10 years. And phonies like Stephen Jones, who actually covered up uh, five different uh, exotic weaponry research like sonolumescence, antimatter weaponry, uh, neutrino weaponry. He was involved in all this. And he's also involved in cover-up of a cold fusion free energy project. And you're telling me Stephen Jones doesn't know anything about direct energy weapons and doesn't uh, rules, uh, does rule this out? Well, right now they're coming up with a uh, truth burn again. And, and now he's bringing microscopy uh, evidence uh, uh, claiming that uh, uh, truth burn somehow proved uh, that the Twin Towers collapsed with thermite. Well, according to their own video at Truthburn, uh, their uh, tower did not collapse for minutes. 
uh, and it should have collapsed in 11 seconds, remember? Under 11 seconds. Didn't work out. Burned for hours, burned for minutes at least. So uh, this is a kind of uh, complete nonsense and red herring. But that's it for now. That's today's show. Paula Gloria will be back maybe on the phone later this week. We will see if we get Tetris there. So from now on, not reinvestigate 9-11, reinvestigate 9-11 Truths. Reinvestigate 9-11 Truths. Please check out 9-11blognance.com. Also 9-11 video mashups.com for the updates and the top 50 charts. Uh, total 9-11 for all the latest uh, on top of four. As also falseflagnews.com and Greg Dixon's new website. I forgot, his name. I forgot the name of the new website. I think it's a daily terror daily dose of terror.blogspot.com daily dose of terror.blogspot.com and that's it for today peace of the uh orders it's not longer a link